Maxwell. I am the presenter of the Ghana Set of Principles, also the author of the Ghana Set of Principles for IELTS, a certified material for non native speakers of the English language. If you're joining this channel for the first time, I would say it's a great opportunity to learn more about uh, the English language tests known as the IELTS and older language tests like TOEFL, GRE, GMAT, SAT, and PTE. I would want you to also take a step further by subscribing to this channel and make sure you hit on the notification bell so you get notified when a new video pops up. Let's get down to business. Hi there. My name is Maxwell. Welcome you one more time to the Gonzalo Principles today. Uh, preparing for the IELTS seems to be a very tedious task today. Uh, not having the right resource or the right preparation could possibly lead to uh, failure on the test. So considering all the factors and the funding you have to make in order to get the test done, you need an uh, enormous uh, uh, resource to help you uh, come out great on the test there. So quickly today, I'll be talking about um, the best resource materials you can possibly uh, use to ace the IELTS uh, test. I'll begin first with the British Council official material. Now, uh, this is a very popular material. If you're thinking of using this material for the test, I would uh, suggest you don't depend on it as your major test preparation material because it doesn't give enormous um, um, practice on the sections. That includes uh, speaking, listening, reading, writing. So if you really need in-depth comprehensive practice material, the British Council material is not the best, but I recommend it for those that actually want to have an overview of what the test looks like, what the test is all about, what are the basic sections and the criteria for getting uh, the test. Uh, with the right band score. It's a wonderful material for that, but if you really want enormous practice, I would not recommend that. Next, I'll be talking about the bare own eye health tears uh, material. Uh, for those that really have issues with the writing section and uh, a bit of the listening section, I would definitely recommend the bare own uh, eye health tears uh, material. It's a very comprehensive material. The author uh, really did a lot of work on uh, analyzing the writing section and the listening section. So if you really have issues with these two areas, I would suggest you uh, get pick up the Baron IELTS material. The sixth edition is out. You can possibly get the sixth edition, which is not quite much different from the fifth edition anyways, but it's a wonderful resource material to connect your writing and your uh, listening section. So moving on, uh, we'll talk about the Cambridge Official Guide. Uh, this is a wonderful material, very in-depth, comprehensive. Uh, one, one of the best uh, things that will come out from the Cambridge English Assessment. I would recommend this material if you have issues with the reading section and a bit of the listening section too. But it does not really give an in-depth analysis on the writing section. So if you really want to get the step-by-step uh, -step approach to how you can write wonderful essays and letters, I wouldn't recommend the Cambridge Official Guide, but rather the uh, Cambridge Official Guide is better uh, used for the reading section because you have enormous materials you can work with as practice in order to um, ace the reading section. For those that are writing the academic module, the Cambridge Official Guide is the best material you can ever think of. Uh, it also has enormous material on the listening section, so, so you can practice a lot with that there. A combination of the Baron and the Cambridge would be a wonderful uh, standpoint for you to really ace the test. And finally, the Kaplan IELTS material is another, another uh, major swan song of, from the stable of Kaplan resource materials. If you really get this material, you will have enormous practice um, questions on the listening section. It has a lot of practice test module you can play with. Uh, that includes the academic and the general training. But it is not an in-depth material that gives you a step-by-step -step approach, mostly on the writing section. So you wouldn't want to really get this material if you really you want and the ABCs of writing, ABCs of listening. I would suggest um, you go for a baron and in combination a Cambridge official material. Uh, here you have it. I uh, would suggest that uh, you take your time to look at the materials. They, they could come with a variety of um, costs, so you have to look at your pocket uh, and see which is pocket friendly.
before you pick up your material. I guess this uh, was a little bit uh, enlightened and um, you'll learn one or two things about the right resource materials. And don't forget, practice, practice, practice actually is one of the best ways you can go about the IELTS. Is, uh, know your weaknesses, know your strengths, work towards them. And make sure you spend at least one hour every day practicing the IELTS uh, sections. This will actually build on your confidence towards the test. So we'll see you again. I still remain here sincerely. SOP Maxwell. This is the Godzilla Principles. And if you've not subscribed, kindly hit on the subscription button below this video. Tap on the notification bell so you get enormous educative videos as I pop them up into my YouTube channel. I hope to hear from you soon. I send me a comment uh, in my comment box on my YouTube channel or you can email me sopmaxwell at gmail.com with whatever issues you have on the IELTS. So we'll meet again. Bye-bye.